Welcome to Getting Started with Geospatial Data. In this video, I will show you how to search and bookmark your area of interest, how to set up your map with a data set, and how to save a project. Once you've logged in and can see the home page, select the map icon. This takes you to the map page where you will do most of your work. On the right hand side, you can see the search tools menu. We will use this to navigate the map. Click on the zoom out button to zoom out. You can click and drag the map to another position. Click on the zoom in button to zoom in. Click the home button to take you back to the first home view position. Click the Overview Map button to see a wider view of the map. Now that we know how to briefly navigate the map, let's search for an area of interest. Select the search button. You can select a search type if you don't know the address of your area of interest. I'm going to stick with Point of Interest. Type in your area of interest and select search. The service zooms to the area of interest you've entered. The service shows you the points of interest with the name you entered. Now that we know how to search for an area of interest, let's bookmark it. Select the bookmark button. Select add new bookmark. Type in your chosen name for the bookmark. Select the tick button to save your bookmark. Now your new saved bookmark will appear in the list. Now we've created a bookmark, we can change the default home position. To do this, select the account icon. Select user preferences. Open the list of bookmarks available to choose from. Select the bookmark you'd like to make your home position and click the save button. Now, when you select the home icon, the service will take you to your new home position. Now, let's set up your map with a data set. To add a data set, we're going to use the hamburger menu. Click on the hamburger icon. You will see three tabs. We're going to be using the catalogue tab. The catalogue tab shows you a list of all the datasets your institution has access to. The datasets are divided into themes, also known as data collections. If you select a data collection to open, you will see the data group. If you select a data group to open, you will see what data sets are available for you to use. For descriptions of all the available data sets, go to the Discover page. I would like to see the flood data set over my area of interest. This can be found in the Geology Data Collection. Select the data set and it should appear on your map. Sometimes you will find the data set doesn't appear immediately on your map. The reason for this is that your map is not zoomed in enough to view the data set. To view the data set, go to the search tools menu and click on the layer manager button. Next to the layer of data you want to see, click the magnifying glass icon to go to the correct zoom level. The data set will now be visible on your map. Let's add another data set to the map. The data set I just added has been placed on top of the flood data set. We can use the layer manager to see and change the order of the data sets. The Fade tool allows you to make the datasets more transparent. 
Click and drag the point along the bar to change the transparency of the top data set. You can also rearrange the data sets by clicking on the layer and dragging it. I've decided to put the flood data on top of the aerial photography. Now we can see both data sets clearly. Now let's see how we save a project. Select the hamburger menu icon again. This time we will use the projects tab. Click on the projects tab to view all the saved and shared projects. Select the create new project button. Type in your project title and description. Click the tick icon to save your project. Your project will now appear in the projects list. For more tutorials, go to the resources page on the Geospatial Data website.